Okay, in a previous video where I was setting up Geist in Studio One with the Akai MPD-218, um, we, we ran into a little bit of an issue with when trying to assign um, MIDI controls to the Geist effects. I contacted FX Expansion and they provided me a fix for that super fast. So I just wanted to demo, demo it working. Um, so I've got everything set up. I'll link to the previous video in the description, but I have how all this is set up. But everything's set up and ready to go. Everything's going. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this, this kick drum. I'm gonna assign, <clears throat> do some MIDI learn on this drive here. Assign it to channel one, uh, CC20. Undo MIDI learn. I'm gonna go to this verse there here. And click MIDI learn again. And we're gonna add uh, some automation here. So now we have MIDI learn on the distortion for the kick and the filters resonance for the, for the snare. So we can see right away, the filter resonance for the snare should be working. There we go. There we go, no problem. And if I click on where's my mouse? Click on the kick. The drive's working too. So my kick. Pretty cool stuff. And then same thing here with my snare. It's cool. Um, one thing they, the uh, FX Mansion told me that I did not know, because I'm kind of new to this game, is you could also create a, you can create a host parameter in Studio One. This is cool. Nice little bit of information I got. Assign that host parameter to, I'm going to do it to the third here. Let's Assign it on the third, and then you can use you can assign this to um, over here in Geist, right to the. If I can find my mouse, do MIDI learn again, and this time I'm going to assign let's say the cutoff, and I'm going to bind it to host the host parameter. Super simple. So I'll turn it off, and now my host parameter should be working. There it is, and. <laughs> Pretty cool. I do want to say that um, F Expansion, uh, their customer support was really fast. They responded really quickly. Uh, they worked very hard to understand the problem and treated me more like a partner than a customer. It was a really, really pleasant customer experience, uh, customer service experience. So, Geist is a great product. BFT3 is a great product, and clearly their tech support team is uh, A1 as well. Um, so, yep. All fixed. All, all looks good. Um, hopefully that helps anybody that's been looking into this stuff. All right.